What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Rudy here, bringing you guys another video. <clears throat> I am finally, sorry about that cough, but I'm not sick anymore. I'm good. I sound normal again, which is, you know, maybe not, maybe not nice, but it's, I sound better than I did. So, today, this video is going up on Monday. This is a ranked battle. This video, though, I'm actually recording before my match against Pinda, which will be going up Friday in the past. But for me, is tomorrow. Because today, as I'm recording, this is the 12th. Thursday, I'm recording it tonight. It's going to be uploaded tomorrow on Friday the 13th. Spooky. And then this video I'm recording right now is going to be going up Monday. So, hopefully I won. But we'll see what happens. I, was, I think that last week, Pinda actually didn't even play his match. Because I know he was having troubles. So, honestly, hopefully we play. Hopefully he doesn't have any other troubles. But for now, we're just going to get in a rain battle. I've been practicing... Quite a bit. Right here, I'm on Pokeball Tier 6, but I've been playing a lot of Showdown, too, to practice. It's way easier to practice on Showdown because it just the games go faster. And it's on my computer. You know, I don't got to boot up anything. But as you can see, like, my record right now is 11 wins, 4 losses. I've been playing a lot. And this team, actually, I don't think I've posted this team on the channel yet. No, I don't think I have. Regardless, if I did, this is... The same team, but slightly different. I've uh, since I created it, I've changed a few things. What I wanted to do was actually just make a team of my own. So I took, I watched like a lot of videos, looked up a lot of stuff, did a lot of battling with uh, popular teams and popular Pokemon, and then I wanted to make my own version of that because I just wanted to, you know, have my original team that's mine, <clears throat> but also be uh, competitively viable and to be able to counter people. So. <clears throat> My throat is still, it's got a little bit of, I've been, I'm good. So this is a perfect team to go against. This is like a very popular team. All these mods are popular. And uh, right here, I feel like I got a perfect counter for a situation like this. So they're probably going to go for the Wismacott and Lucario beat up lead. And then they also have the Dracovish that they could lead. And I have hard counters to the Dracovish. And the Wismacott Lucario, I don't have a hard counter for. But I do got a, I feel like my team is really good against this team. I've played against a lot of teams similar to this. So what I do is I like to do Wismacott Grimmsnarl because they both have Prankster. So I can Tailwind and Thunder Wave. And in the back, we rock Rotom Heat, of course. And then the Gastrodon is for the hard counter against Dracovish. So... Let's watch how this happens, shall we? So here we go. Am I in the... I'm in the frame. All right, good, good, good. It's been a while since I actually recorded. What's crazy is so I've uploaded every day, but I actually haven't recorded in seven days because my wife has been off work for six days. and I Actually, it's six days, not seven. My wife's been off work for six days, and when she's home, I... Um, we play a little bit. Like, she plays a little bit. I play a little bit. She, like, no, she just started playing, I should say. She doesn't play. She just started playing. But you get what I'm saying. So, this Lucario, if he does the standard route, Lucario's going to protect. Once Makat is going to Tailwind. And so, I'm going to Thunder Wave the Once Makat. And I'm going to put up my own Tailwind. And let's see what he does. Or he's just going to go straight for and Dynamax and beat up, which would hurt a ton. But we'll see. Because if he doesn't beat up, he won't have Prankster, and I do. So that's where my Thunder Wave comes in. And so there's a chance that he just gets straight up paralyzed, which is what I would hope for if he just goes straight for the beat up. But if he does Tailwind right away, then I'm getting my Tailwind off too, and I'm getting him a Thunder Wave. So we're in a good spot. Lucario protects. All right, so he is going to do the Luc Lucario protect with uh Tailwind. So right here, I go first. So either I'm faster or we speed draw. Yes, yeah, so he's going to Tailwind too. And hopefully my Thunder Wave does not miss. Please. Yes. Woo. All right. Big plays. Big plays. Dude, I really hit when my Thunder Wave misses. All right. So now we're in a good spot here. So what we want to do, who's he going to go for? Because You know what I'm saying? Who does he go for here? I think I need to keep my... See, right here is where I kind of wish I had, um, I do wish I had Dragapult so I could just definitely guarantee me living a Max Knuckle. So right here, I kind of want to switch to Rotom and then Reflect. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go for the fact that he's going to go for Grim Snarl. Actually, I'm going to Thunder Wave his Lucario instead of Reflect. Take a chance of him getting paralyzed and not even being able to move. Let's go for the safe play here. 
Well, I mean, I guess it's not safe. It's still like a chance. But if we can get a paralyzed... Dude, so I used to rock Taunt on my Grimmsnarl, which I did like, but Cody was, Cody was telling me I should probably uh, do Thunder Wave instead, and I kind of agree with him. It's just like more useful because when you do hit um, th uh, Thunder Wave, it stays like that for the whole game. So here's the deal. See, like, so, for instance, since I Thunder Wave that Whispercot, there's a chance that he doesn't get his beat up off, which would be awesome. Or if I can Thunder Wave the Lucario with my Prankster, there's a chance that his... Well, I don't know how that works with Dynamax, if he could possibly be paralyzed or not through his Dynamax. Let's see, though. Whispercot used Taunt on who... <laughs> it doesn't affect me because I'm a Dark-type, little homie. All right, so I don't know if Paralyze actually... Can stop. All right, so he doesn't even. Oh, we're not living that. Unfortunately, I don't know why he would taunt that slot and steel spike that slot. That was like really lame of him, but whatever. Alrighty, we're in a pretty good spot now, I would say. So now I think we don't want our Gastrodon. Oh, see, our Gastrodon's good, but I don't want our Gastrodon to get beat, like hurt by the Winsmacot. Actually, we're gonna go for it. Because our Wismacot really can't do anything. And I want my Wismacot to stay alive so I can keep Tailwinds up. So now I'm doing good because they're both paralyzed. So I'm definitely going first with Rotom Heat here. So now I can uh, max Flare into that Lucario. And then I can... I think I want to... I think I want to Earth Power, right? Yeah, because Ground gets stabbed. And I don't know... See, but... Ooh, wait, it's not effective. That's right... See, I don't know if Ice gets affected by Sunny Day. I know Water does. We'll just go for the Ice Beam regardless. It's super effective. I forgot that the Earth Power will be super effective against the Lucario because he's... It's because he's Ground-type, right? I think Ground-type beats fighting. I, I still got to learn my matches. This is actually an app I use. Let me show you this. Look at this. I use this app a lot where it shows me... What's effective? Well, it's not very effective. Oh, I got a glare on the screen. Whatever. I use an app, and I'm not scared to admit it. All right, I'm learning. All right, I know most of the... Yes! Okay, I know most of the uh, uh, effects of type charts, but I don't know them all, and I don't know them all that quick. Lucario's dead, so this guy's more likely going to forfeit because usually when they leave Lucario, once in a while, that's their whole plan. And if he switches to Dracovish here, for one, we have Sunny Day. So that's really going to hurt his feelings. And two, why did he moon blast and not like a grass hit on me? I mean, that still hurt, but still. What a silly, silly boy! Does that kill? Oh, he's sashed. That's fine. So I, because since that almost killed, I kind of think that Sunny Day doesn't affect ice moves, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I could Google it, but I'll do that later. And I think with these videos, I know like the big YouTubers when they do rank play videos. They do like one, or they'll do like two or three, or eight, sometimes even four matches in one video. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep these down to just one battle in a video because my last one, which was two battles, was 20 minutes long. And honestly, I don't think any of you guys, I can, I would almost put money on the fact that not a single one of you watched that video from beginning to end. So this is a weird, yeah, Bravery. Like, what is he going to do? He's just going to get max lightning now. And then I'm just going to super... Or I'm just going to Ice Beam. I don't know what this guy was thinking, but I 100% counter his team here. Because, like, this team is, like, just straight up, like, a, like a whole bunch of meta Pokemon, which my team is pretty much just too. But, like, I 100% counter everything on his team. So what does he have last? Does he have the Draco, which would be hilarious? But I like to do, I like when they lead Draco and I don't lead, oh my goodness, and you got Paralyzed, and I don't lead Gastrodon. So then I can switch to Gastrodon on their turn, and then they Vicious Rend into any slot, and I just get my uh, my bonus. Yeah, these guys got, uh, this guy got absolutely immortalized. That's why I really like this team. So like, like I said at the beginning of this video, this, I'm recording this before my match with Pinda, assuming that he is able to play, and if he is not able to play, I'm actually just going to upload this on Friday, which is tomorrow instead of Monday, but he should be able to be on. And um, where was I going with that? I don't even remember. He should be able to play, no problem. And then this will be going up on Monday. 
And this match is, bef I'm recording this before the actual Pinda match. So I'm going to be, yeah, he canceled. So I'm going to be using this team against Pinda. As you guys already know, if you've seen the video, I really like it. As you can see, I completely hard counter that guy. The only thing I don't hard counter is that Mimikyu, but obviously he was not going to win that. So thank you guys for stopping by. If you did watch this video all the way through, please leave a comment down below. Just because I want to see how many people actually watch the video from beginning to end. Literally just comment anything. Like comment that you watched the video all the way through. Just anything. I just want to know how many people actually are. And if you guys want to, if you look down in the description below, you can see links to my Twitter. And I made an Instagram now. I don't know if I'm going to be cool enough to have an Instagram. But I made one just in case. And then I made an Instagram for ROE. So ROE is going to have has their twitter down there and instagram and then i also have the link for the running on mt discord where we're running the pokemon league and i have the link to the running on mt merch if you want to have some of that i tried to i wanted to rock i don't usually wear this in a video but i wanted to wear something different because i always wear the same black and white hat and i got a blue hat coming in so i have a different different headwear to come in but thank you guys for stopping by i'll see you guys all later